Life has a funny way of turning around and twisting and all coming back into one place. And of course, as you know, we're at the Pepper Mill downtown and uh, Susan Lawrence is with me and she actually is from Viva Las Vegas, which is an Elvis Presley fan club. Now, <laughs> this is the Elvis Presley booth. Oh, is it now? Well, Wonderful. she didn't even know it was the Elvis Presley booth. No, she, now you, I'm excited. You're actually, you're actually sitting where he probably sat. Yes. Except that there's a different booth actually, because they, they placed the booth, they took an old booth out and brought this one in, so mm -hmm. he probably didn't sit exactly on this one, but this is where he was, this is okay. where he would always be in this corner. Now you also told me, we're at the Pepper Mill Lounge, you also told me you had many a little young date coming in here. Yeah, I am uh, I went to high school here and I had a couple of dates here at the Pepper Mill, I distinctly remember that. Do you that. really want to talk about the dates? Were they clean dates? Were they good they're, dates? I was dating a nice boy at the time. Because yes. <laughs> they're not all nice, are they? <laughs> no, he was, a, he was a gentleman. He was a gentleman. Oh, how yeah. lovely. So what does it feel like coming back into the Pepper Mill where Elvis Presley was? And well, many times. He used to come in the back door here. Okay, well now that I know all of this, and I, I pride myself on knowing Elvis in Las Vegas, but yes. this is a surprise. This is a new thing The for first you. thing in my mind is, okay, the next time we have a, a chance, an opening in the meeting schedule, the club is going to come here and sit right here in this booth. Yeah, I'd love the whole club to come in. In fact, right. I would love them all to come in, and we'll get them on the show, and they can all talk about Elvis Presley, and I'll just shut up, I'll zip it, and they can all talk. Because <laughs> we, do, we do have members, including myself, that saw Elvis live, so we all have our own stories So you all about have your own stories about Elvis? Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley was so recognized in Vegas. I mean, he was he was at the Hilton all the time. Obviously, that's where he, he used to perform all the time. Um, what made you sort of kind of, well, you were young enough, I guess, to sort of you know, get involved in Elvis Presley? I mean, what, what attached you to him? Um, what started is that what my parents were fans. And it began with the shows on Ed Sullivan, and they had it on a uh, reel-to-reel tape recorder, so I grew up with that music. And then when the movies came on television, uh, it was mostly my dad that would make it a point for us to sit in front of the TV and watch those films. Uh, working here in town, he eventually ended up at the Flamingo, yes. and uh, there was a large crew of the Flamingo that was transferred to the International Hotel in 1969. My father was part of that crew, and I remember him coming home as he was getting acclimated to working in that hotel uh, after the grand opening. He said, Elvis is coming to town, and we were uh, pretty excited oh, about that. Sure yeah, yeah it's it's just. just for this him to come here. Time. I mean, this is, you know, yeah, that was that was the ultimate, and so uh, and my dad was pretty excited about it. He was working in the coffee shop as a chef, so the shows came along, and uh, he knew that my mother and I were very interested. He says, "I can't get you in. It is standing room only. We're putting him in there in a shoehorn." He says, "Maybe next time." So when Elvis came in February, we made a arrangements, the reservations, and all of that saved up a little bit of money, oh, and that was the first show. Oh, I'll never forget the first show that and I was. Did you with. kind of fall in love with him? I mean, because like most women, you know, at that time were falling. I was one of them, by the way, <laughs> falling in love with him. I mean, this he was so natural, but he he was so sort of forward in his time of his movements that they didn't even watch about their moving or doing anything. Well, the, uh, as it happened for me, uh, I enjoyed the persona that I saw on, on yeah. the films, yeah. the voice and all of that. And then seeing him here in live, live. yeah, he, he's bringing rock and roll to the strip. We never really had that before. It was always in a distant location or not at all. It wasn't kind of allowed. <laughs> yeah. And then, and, and, and it was a kind of a little bit of a joke in my family that Elvis was my boyfriend when I was, <laughs> when I was growing up. your wish. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that was, that was the fantasy thing yeah, going course, on. So course. I would go, it was a regular thing to go see him the two times a year that he was here. Me and my mommy would set it up and we'd go down there and years later then I went with friends uh, until I finally could drive myself when I got my driver's license. So every time he was in town you were there? Just about, yeah. Uh, the only time I missed him was when he canceled after a few days and in fact I ended up being at the very last show he ever did here in December 76th. Oh, really? yeah. oh, and you didn't know that would be the last no, show? I, no, that was one of my big thoughts when the news came that he had passed. But at least you did I would never see him again and, no. and that's what that made. was devastating. Yes, it now, was. Now, how did you start this Elvis Presley fan club? Because there are a lot of them. And I'm not correct. I believe he's got the biggest fan club probably in the world of people. Um, I think he, uh, the community of fan clubs is very large all around the world. And yes. it's amazing to go to um, the Elvis Presley website, the main one, Graceland.com, yes. yes. and, and look at the list of the clubs that are everywhere. 
at the time that I founded my club, I kind of um, I got introduced to an idea of a club by someone that had started a small one, and uh, and then I had people encouraging me. I don't know why, but it just happened. They said, "Sue, you're well, a really a little out bad. <laughs> she comes to life. Yeah. <laughs> I have a military background, and so when you have those leadership skills, yes. You they far. never go away. No. So um, I guess that's what people started talking to me for. And uh, and so in 2004, I started up this club, and, and I wanted to concentrate on the memory of what Elvis was, what it was really like here in this town, instead of. Um, people only knew the impersonators in the shows. Yes. And, and but, they're nothing like. I mean, there's only one Elvis Presley, believe me, I've seen many of them, of the impersonators, and they are fabulous. Yes. They're wonderful. They truly, truly are. But there's only one of anybody. Right, it's right. Just the, the mold. The mold. Yeah. So we've done things in, in the history of this club to. Um, to bring that back, we yes. we did a uh, we did a small uh, brick tribute over at the Flamingo because he filmed *Viva Las Vegas* yes. there, and then there was a uh, brick tributes available at the Clark County Museum, so we did one there. Our our pride and joy is getting Elvis into the Las Vegas Walk of Stars, and that and that starts in front of the Paris. And I picked that spot so that he was first in line, and that he was next to Engelbert Humperdinck. Oh my goodness! The I only knew, thing I, I need is Tom Jones there. Yeah, so. I knew Engelbert Humperdinck. Oh, I did you? Him, yes, I've actually had one date with him. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> Oh, he's a fabulous guy, a fabulous guy. But they all are. In those days, they were a little yes. bit different than they are now, but it's still the same. There's still the same thing going on. How big is your club here in Vegas? Is it just one club they have here? Uh, there's another club in, in town, and that kind of broke off from me, and they... Uh they have their they have their way that they celebrate Elvis and yes. keep his memory alive, and then we and have then ours. Have your, so there's two different clubs in Vegas. Right, right, and uh, uh, we have about 50 members, and uh, I would say about half of them are here and half of them are elsewhere. So we're all over the United States. I have members in uh, England and Australia and England. Canada. England, oh, right, fabulous. Yeah. That's wonderful. Now, what Susan has said to me that she would like to bring some of them onto the set. So whenever you want to do that, just let Nick know. And we'll have them all on, and we'll get a little story from each one of them, however yes. many you want on. We'll get as many as we can get fit in here. Oh, that'd be fabulous. We can maybe do two separate halves because this is the Elvis Presley booth, and this, oh, this is the Papa Mill where he used to come all the, all the time. And uh, the old Hilton Hotel where he used to perform is right behind us. Yeah, the so Westgate. everything, the Westgate, which is now the Westgate. So everything's very, very. Susan, thank you for bringing history. I'm glad to be here. Vegas. That's amazing. Thank you so much for coming on. Isn't she wonderful? Bringing Elvis Presley back. We'll be right. We'll be right.